Hi guys, it's Rue. I'm on the back of Truth Bike. This is plug number three. Um, so I hope you're all okay. Um, anyway, I have an awful lot on my mind today. Um, I have a lot going on, work. I'm going to do a survey. Can everybody just write in to, to me and tell me how many of you get truly fed up with the politics of work? Oh, it's lovely. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's all birds and flowers. Oh, duckies. Oh, look. Can you see them? Oh, I don't know if you caught that. Oh, it's lovely. There's chickens. There's yellow chickens over there. Oh, that's so nice. Actually, we had a pigeon. Just go, I'm going to go away from that for a minute. We had a pigeon walk into um, reception at work and um, into the reception area. We tried to get him out. He was gorgeous. He was white with chestnut brown wings. And I, I didn't even notice him come in until some people pointed it out to me that we were there. So we had to try and get him out. So I tried to pick him up and he was flapping and very nervous and then he jumped up on the window ledge and I thought I didn't want to hurt his wings. <laughs> he was flapping and everyone was laughing and I'm like, oh, come on, come on, let me pick you up and he wouldn't in no way was he having any of us. So we had to line up a few of us and block doors and kind of shush him out the door gently. So I walk behind him and he runs off a little tap 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 in front of me <laughs> and he there and he tried to he would try to go down a hallway but somebody stood there and stopped him in the end and um, then there's a, um, a biker relaxing um, so then he made, a, he made his way out the door anyway and off he went <laughs> and he did have one of those identity tags on him as well so he obviously belongs to someone but he was beautiful I don't know if you like pigeons but I just love all animals and birds, with the exception, obviously, of rats, which I hate. But, um, yeah, it was fun. That was a fun moment today, trying to get the pigeon out. <laughs> oh, that's funny. But it was nice. I like my job. I do. The job itself is lovely. And all the people that I meet are all really, really nice. And I'm a real people person. And I get on well with everyone. And a lot of people write in to work about me we have a survey thing and they write in and they do say nice things about how good I am and my service and that I'm a nice personality and that I really do my best all the time and things but um, and that's one of the reasons I mentioned in my last one how I was sent away to Spain to Marbella for a few days um, as a reward which was lovely don't get me wrong it was really, really great. Um, but at the moment, it's just the way things are being ran down there in that job. It's really starting to get me down. Um, I'm really starting to feel low about everything. Um, I was promised a promotion. But due to the politics, which I'm not going to go into, I, I just think maybe I shouldn't say too much at the minute. I didn't get it anyway. It's not my fault, nothing I've done wrong. It's not because I'm not doing a good job. Look at that view, it's lovely. It's not because I'm not doing a good job or anything. It's not that, it's, there's a, a situation, that's all. And it's preventing me from getting promoted. You know, and then sometimes I think I'm just plain silly because the money difference is not that great anyway from what I'm doing now to what I would be doing if I got the promotion. Oh, look at that Spouton house over there. I just got a flash, you probably missed it. Maybe you'll see it. The gates are closed, so we can't go in. It's lovely scenery around here. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm a bit cheesed off with everything at the moment. So I work damn hard and I do a great job. I'm not just bragging. When I get my teeth into something, if I like what I do, I don't just do great, I do brilliantly. And I do because I work hard and I give it my all. If I'm not good at a job, I just leave it and I just say, nah, this is not working. And I just move on. Like, I worked in factories before and they're all production. 
you know, you have to do so many things in an hour sort of thing. Oh, I hate that. I can't do that. I'm too slow. I admit that I'm too slow. But when it comes to working with people, when it comes to... I used to teach, for example, in a private school. I used to do therapy, different types of therapies and things. And I used to teach them and I set up a course in Ireland and everything. I'm really good at that. Just due to moving over here, I had to give it up just because we want to be in on the grid, as it were, and in just paid work so we can get a mortgage and stuff. But um, when I got this job, it was it's a nice job. It's, it's interesting. The hours are absolutely rubbish, though. I mean, I finished at 11 last night. I probably got to sleep about 1 o'clock, and I was awake again at quarter to 6 this morning. <laughs> so I'm very tired. Um, by the time I get home, I do very very tired and that's another problem and now the true's got his new job he's off weekends and i'm not that's another problem it's very hard for me to get weekends off in the job i'm in so i'm looking at all of that so it's all kind of getting me down at the moment but i don't want to be talking about depressing stuff because i'm not at work now and sad the whole thing i shouldn't be discussing it really outside of the thing i should leave it as wherever it is Maybe I need to learn to do that, just leave work wherever it is. But it's hard when there's some emotional evol involvement over certain situations there um, with other people, that is. So that's it. I don't know. Does anybody else have problems? I know work, okay, work is hard. I know that. You know, no job comes without its gripes and its problems. And, you know, everyone has issues maybe with the hours or with the job role or with the pay is always an issue. I mean, how many people, unless you're top manager, how many are in a very specialised industry or something like that, where you are actually getting paid well? But in the normal run of things, in the normal jobs, I wonder how many people are really happy with the money they're on? I mean, most people, especially now with recession, just make an ends meet, aren't they? So, and maybe with just to be grateful, have a job and things. You know, I look at things both ways, and I'm a very positive person. And i not normally someone that gets down. But when I do get down, I get very down, because I'm not used to being down, if that makes sense. So, I don't know. Oh, he's off again. Write to me anyway, or comment, and just tell me how you all get on with your jobs and things. And talk to me a little bit about how, you, if you made a change, if you decided, sad it, I've had it, that's it. I'm going back to doing this, or I'm going to move on to do that, or I'm going to get another job, and things. Just, you know, how did you get on? Do you think people should brave their fears, you know? I mean, I am a qualified therapist, um, and a few different things. Like, I do, uh, I used to teach um, all the different types of massage therapy, um, including, like, deep tissue and sports. And all the anatomy, physiology, business side of it and all that. I used to do all that. Um, we used to do basic counselling as well, because you need to be able to deal with emotional people and people with personal problems, because sometimes they don't want to come to you just for a massage. Sometimes it's to relieve stress and tension from their lives and they talk about their problems. So you need to have a little bit of basic counselling skills for that, so trained on that, able to train people on that. I'd love to go back to that again at some point, but I'm afraid because it's mostly self-employed work, you know, so I have a fear of doing it in case I don't make money or it takes too long and we're struggling. So if you have any advice or opinions, just please tell me because I'm not feeling that great at the minute. Okay, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye! Check out True's new helmet. Can you see that? Same as the other one, but in the grey and white zip. That's really, really nice. I hope you can get a good glimpse of that one as well, by the way. Okay, bye.